Hello everyone, my name is Equilibrimist and this is my Mafia 2 gameplay series, episode number 4. And so far we have been breaking our car every episode. Why do people just fall over? Right. Right. I'm really not good at stealth games. Is someone coming down? You got any plans for the weekend? Yeah, gonna relax and watch me some television. Well, you bought a television? I sure did. Man, those things cost as much as a car. How the hell did you afford it? Mary's Uncle Lou passed away a few months back, left us some cash. And you bought yourself a television with it. That's what okay. I did. This is the director's office. This, this is where the key should be. Black and white screen gets all three channels. Wow, sounds fascinating. What, you mean you ain't gonna get one? I'll stick with my newspaper and with my radio, thank you. All right, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. We'll see about that, sonny boy. Yeah, so she, uh... God damn it. She ain't seen it yet.
this is getting better by the minute. Oh, she's been visiting a mother upstate. Oh, yeah, I see. And, uh, what have you been watching on that fancy television set of yours? Mostly cartoons. They ain't got much on right now, on account of the war. Cartoons? All that money to watch some cartoons. Oh, man. Salesman said when the war is over, they're supposed to start showing ball games on it, too. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. But listen, I was watching them cartoons, and it gave me an idea. Oh, here we go. Okay, Einstein, let's hear it. Now, uh, listen to this. What if you could control the cartoon? What do you mean? You know, control it. You could make the little guy on the screen do things. You could make him run around, drive a car, maybe even uh, have him shoot a gun, shoot things with it. Hey, you been sniffing glue? How the hell are they gonna do that? Listen, I ain't worked that out yet. Look, you probably have to have some sort of button. There has to be a way to disable the alarm. I mean, one button would make him walk, the other would make him shoot, one would maybe make him... Oh, yeah, that's your brilliant idea, huh? That sounds interesting, but it ain't never gonna happen. Sure they will. Right after they put a guy on the moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. I'm gonna get back to my crosswood puzzle here. Yeah, all right. Don't hurt yourself with that number two pencil. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna open it right now. There has to be another way. God damn it. Okay, at least from here I can exit.
Nope. Doesn't seem to be anything here either. Uh, no. There has to be a way to disable it. Maybe it's on the first floor. Okay, okay. Is this the exit door? Yeah, that's the exit. No cameras, I hope. Ideally everything should be quiet now because I have disabled all the cards. What? That's not what I were expected to end up. Hell yeah! There shouldn't be any cars now. And the safe alarm should be disabled as well. Now we only need to find that damn safe again. No blinky blinky light anymore. Fucking A. Yeah, I saw that I can exit from here as well.
What's that? Okay, never mind. Hey, achievement! So it seems that 40 is the speed limit. Piece of cake. They're in for a shock in the morning. That's good. I see Joe knows how to pick his friends. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date. And that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait. If you can get them to the gas station attendance by midnight, They'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. Now get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get. God damn it. Hey, what did I just say? You get rid of them by midnight or you get Mister, hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. See ya. I mean I feel as if I'm tricked
Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. Yeah, I don't really feel like I'm freaked. Well, at least I have a powerful car. That has to count for something, I suppose. Yeah, to catch the bullies, this is the best outcome I can do. some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Oh. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. Yeah, so I have two problems with the car. One is that it uh, handles like a boat. And the other is that I'm not really good at driving cars in games. Listen, I got these extra gas stamps. You want them? They're yours. Cheap. Yeah, alright. I'm good with that. Alright, here you go. And keep your mouth shut about this, alright? Sure thing, buddy. It'll be our secret. It better be. Yeah, this was the boat part. Go for it. Fudge. That's everything I need. Interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me.
Well, time-wise, I should make it, I think. Uh, considering the <laughs> amount of damage my car has received, this last station or last hundreds I'm gonna collect will most likely go into repairing my car. What's this guy doing? For some surplus gas stamps. Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, and second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. All right, now fork over the dough. Yeah, all right. Just hope I don't get in trouble for this. Don't worry about it. Just keep your mouth shut. All right, that's the last of them. At least I got some cash. I should head back to Joe's. Okay, let's go back home. With my frozen car. And my broken car. And it's not like GTA that you park your car in the evening and in the morning everything will be just a-okay. Uh-oh. Well, at least the game looks considerably good. Considering this from year 2004, 5, 6, something. So almost 10 years old. And the only reason why I started playing it was that in the autumn this year they should bring out Mafia 3. And just before that I wanted to play Mafia 2. Although as far as I understood they're not really connected in any way. But who cares? Didn't know Joe could even write. 
We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. Okay, and right here, right now, it's time to end episode number 4 of my Mafia 2 gameplay series. So, thank you for watching me, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next game episode.